hi welcome back to my channel physics 15 kssm we continue chapter 1 force and motion 2 on topic 1.3 forces in equilibrium part 1 in this video i will discuss the two learning standards the first one explain forces in equilibrium the second one sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium In 1.2, we have discussed about resultant force. I hope you still remember the situation involving object which is at rest and constant velocity. Let's look at again so that you can uh, recall what we have discussed in the previous topic. An object is said to be in equilibrium of forces when the forces acting on it produce a zero resultant force or in other words we can say forces are balanced okay let's look at the first situation object at rest or stationary look at this vase of flower so you can see it is at rest on the table okay by looking at the free body diagram meaning the forces that act on the vase we can see there's a weight 12 newton downwards and there's normal reaction R equals to same magnitude, 12 Newton. So in this case, we can say R equals to W, thus forces are balanced. For this one, you can see the lamb is hanging at rest. It does not moving. So in this case also, we can see there are three forces act on the lamb. But the lamb at rest. Thus we can say the forces also balance. Look at this type picture. The person is trying to push the tree, but the tree does not move. Okay, so in this case, the object also is at stationary state. So in this case, forces also balance. So for this case, object at rest, forces are balanced, resultant force equals to zero newton. Or we also can say that forces are in equilibrium dalam keadaan keseimbangan maksudnya semua daya yang bertindak adalah seimbang kes yang kedua kita juga telah bincangkan ni ya, sebelum ini object move with constant velocity okay let's say the horse okay is running ya, at constant velocity equals to 20 km per hour the driving force forward equals to friction or air and air resistance. So forces are balanced. So in this case, forces are balanced but the object is moving. So in this case, the object moves in constant velocity also considered in the case of forces in equilibrium because the forces are balanced. Okay? Same thing as the car here. The engine thrust balance eh, the friction of force act on the car. So the car moves with constant velocity. So from here we can say that once we get the situation uh, about object at rest or constant velocity, straight away you must understand that forces are balanced or resultant force equals to zero newton. Okay. And there come the concept of forces are in equilibrium. Okay. So we want to discuss more about three forces in equilibrium. If you look at this uh, lamp, there are three forces act on the lamp. The weight, there's a tension because we use two strings to hang the lamp. So there's a tension here, P, and also tension T. Okay, so actually for this case of three forces in equilibrium, sometimes we want to find okay, the certain value. For example, given W, you need to find the magnitude of P or T. Okay, so the idea of solving this type of question, we can have three methods here. Okay, so to solve three forces in equilibrium, we can use the concept of resolution of forces this one we have discussed before 
own, we can use the scale drawing method. We also have discussed two uh, uh, methods, uh, the triangle method and also parallelogram methods. And the third one is trigonometric formula. Okay, so in order to solve problems uh, involving uh, three forces in equilibrium by using trigonometric formula, you must know how to sketch a triangle of forces. Okay, look at this one. This diagram shows triangle of forces that act on the lamp. So in order to solve problems, you must have you must know how to draw this triangle of forces. Okay, the first step is you must know direction of the forces that act. Be careful with the angle. Okay, so this one just a sketching eh, of the forces eh, of triangle of forces. So what you do, you need to arrange all the three forces until it looks like it's following each other, like moving in the circle. For example, you can start from the vertical one. This is the first force weight, eh? the vertical one. You draw the first one. And on the first one, you continue to draw the second one, which is horizontal P. And then you continue to complete the triangle. So you can see the direction like moving in one circle. So this type of the triangle of forces, we call it closed triangle of forces. So for forces in equilibrium, you must be able to draw this type of closed triangle of forces. Because the closed triangle of forces shows resultant force equals to zero. Okay, let's look at this one. This is three forces in equilibrium. So this one is the triangle of forces. Okay, you can start, normally we start with the horizontal or the vertical one. Let's say we start with P. This is the horizontal force P. End of P, you continue to draw the second one. Make sure the direction follow each other. You continue to draw Q. Then end of Q, continue to draw R. So this one, we call it closed triangle of forces. Once you get a closed triangle of forces, so this one also shows that three forces is in equilibrium. Okay? Or forces are balanced. Okay? Okay, now let's try to sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium, meaning we want to sketch a closed triangle of forces. So this one is an object on inclined plane. Diagram shows a free body diagram, means the forces that act on the object. So you have weight downward. Normal reaction are always 90 degrees to the inclined plane. And the frictional force always oppose the motion. Let's say the, uh, the object is moving down uh, the inclined plane, so the frictional force will act in opposite direction. Okay, So there are three forces that act on the block. Okay, We want to try to sketch the triangle. The first one, let's say I choose the vertical one. So this one is the roughly we sketch first. Huh? Okay, so the one which is parallel to R here, so actually represent R. The one that parallel to FR, so it represent FR. Thus, we get one right angle triangle here. So we are going to sketch this right angle triangle. So you can see the direction all follow eh, each other. So this one is a closed triangle. Okay. So let's say this one is the first force, uh, weight downward. Okay, now I want to draw the next one. End of the first force, I will continue to draw the second one. Let's look at the angle. Angle theta is angle of inclination. Okay, by using mathematics, you will get that this angle here is also theta. And this angle here also theta. So, 
the angle theta here. Now we draw the second force. This one represents R. End of the second force, continue to draw FR. So we get this one is FR. So FR is parallel to the inclined plane. Okay. R is perpendicular to the plane. So this triangle, you can say, you can see is a closed triangle of forces. Thus, resultant force equals to zero. So you must be able to sketch eh, this type of triangle. Okay, look at the second one. There's a frame hang with two uh, rope eh, or string. Okay, there's another force, of course, weight downward. Now we want to draw triangle of forces. Okay, forces in equilibrium at this point. So that's weight downward. Continue to draw the second force. So I take this one and put here, put here. And then T here completed the triangle. So we have this one close triangle. Okay, now I draw here. Okay, draw the weight first, vertically, vertically downward, W. This is T at angle alpha from horizontal. Okay, this one is just a sketch. Okay. And then here also is alpha. And then at same angle from horizontal alpha, we draw the second one T. So thus we get a close triangle of forces. So this triangle of forces represent eh, the three forces that act on the frame or the photo. Okay. So this one just a sketch. So don't need to uh, measure eh, unless that there's scale drawing. By using scale drawing, so you need to measure everything, eh? the length and the angle. Okay, now just a sketch. Okay, lakarkan saja. Eh? Kalau dia nak you gunakan lukisan, dia akan tuliskan draw. Okay, ha? ada beza, eh? draw dengan sketch. Okay, the third one, ini two boats. Eh? Okay, pulling uh, this uh, barge eh? that carrying uh, so many loads. Okay. Shape moving with uniform velocity. Again, we can say forces are in equilibrium. There are three forces here. R and then the tension of the rope here or the cable. R here is water resistant. If we want to sketch, we become like this. This is R. End of R continue to draw T, meaning we, we bring T to here. We get that one. And then complete become one vector triangle or triangle of forces. Now I draw here. This is R. Okay, end of R continue to draw T. T is theta from horizontal, meaning angle here is theta. Okay. And then complete to become a triangle. Okay, angle here also theta. Okay, so we get a close triangle of forces showing that the forces act on the barge is in equilibrium. Okay, so it's very important for you all to know how to, uh, to sketch uh, the triangle of forces because the triangle of forces will uh, help you uh, to solve problems involving forces in equilibrium. Okay, to study more about forces in equilibrium, so we are going to use a vector force table kit again to demonstrate uh, forces in equilibrium. So apparatus required, we need force uh, vector force table kit and slotted weights uh, of various masses. So now we are going to use three pulley now, A, B, C. Okay. So this is the vector force step kit. So you can see the angle that mark here at zero here is also equals to 360. So we are going to rate it from zero, meaning anti-clockwise direction. Okay. 
So let's look at uh, the position. The first one is 0. Okay, second one is 30, meaning one, uh, one of the string is placed along this line, this mark 0. And the second one is 30. We're here. Okay, so we need to bring this pulley to 30. And then we have the other one here. Okay, let's watch this video in order to understand. Okay, so for the vector for stable kit, there is a scale here for the uh, angle. Okay, there are three hanging loads. Huh? So here at the center, you can see there's a ring and a cylinder. If forces are balanced, the three forces are balanced, the ring must not touch the cylinder. So this is zero mark. So we read here. The clockwise direction. So this one shows that uh, one of the string is at zero degrees, one of the pulley, A, let's say, B pulley is at 120 and the third one is at 240. So if the ring does not touch the center or does not touch the black cylinder, meaning the forces are balanced. So we can get straight away uh, the value of uh, mass uh, for pulley C. Okay? So we keep edges. Let's say we have uh, A and B. Uh, suddenly when you place the load at A and B, the ring touch the cylinder here. Meaning forces are not balanced. So what you do, you need to add more load uh, on pulley C. Okay? You need to add more load. Okay, you can adjust the angle or can adjust the load, eh? mass of load, until you get the ring does not touch the black cylinder. Okay. So now, when you adjust, you can see the ring no longer touching the cylinder, meaning forces are balanced, then you can uh, record the reading for pulley A, pulley B and pulley C and record also the position, meaning the angle where the, uh, the string uh, uh, plays. Okay? So this is how uh, we can use a vector for stable kit. So we can repeat uh, with angle, for example, the first one, A plays at 0 degrees, B plays at 30 degrees, meaning angle between is 30. So you can try this in the lab. Okay, let's say the mass that we get. This is only a sample of answer. You can try it later. So this one, a uh, mass is three hundred and fifty gram. Position is at one hundred and ninety three degrees. The force supply is three point one five newton. For the force supply, we use the formula F equals to m g. So in this table, g used is 10 meter second to the power negative 2. Okay. The second place, uh, a 0 degrees, b 90. So the mass that required uh, to balance a and b is 250. Position is 217 degrees. And the force supply is 2.50 newton. Okay, the last one between uh, A is at 0 degrees, B at 150 degrees. So we get the mass that we add uh, to the load is 100 gram. Position is 230 degrees and the force supply is 1.00 Newton. So this is only a sample of answer. So you can try uh, by using vector table force letter in the lab. So for this part, I will stop here. So we have discussed about what is the meaning of forces in equilibrium, which is um, it shows that when forces are balanced, resultant force equals to zero. And then we also discuss the technique of sketch, a uh, triangle of forces. Okay, so we will uh, meet in the next video, continue in the next video. I will discuss on topic 
a problem solving uh, involving forces in equilibrium that's all for now bye